Thanks for staying with us. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Right now, we're going to take a hot topic, and it's something that we're hoping that soon enough we're going to be singing, finally, the Lord has done it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I took more than 16 years for the blue line in uh, Lagos to start working. Now, we've been promised by the governor of Lagos State, uh, Mr. Somolu, that the red line will be flagged off by this month's end even though it was uh, uh, said in china not here in nigeria but mm. we'll still welcome it if it does happen but to discuss this with us we have the national president of nigerian union of railway workers uh, mr uh, comrade innocent ajiji good morning and welcome to the program good morning, good morning thank you yeah so let's use this time to say thank you to you for what you did during Christmas um, because uh, they said that we're going to have free, free rides, rides on right. the train and you guys worked really hard. We hope that was a success. Hello. Comrade, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, can we can you hear, hear you now. Yes, yes, we can hear you. We hope that exercise was a success, yes. Oh yeah, it was successful and uh, Nigerians are happy with the uh, president of Nigeria for extending this kind gesture to Nigerians at the right time. So it was successful. Yeah, well, the projection was uh, about 5, five million, million people. people. Did you get up to that or what experience were there that you had? And the people even come out like in flux. Mm. Oh yes, yes. At the point in time, the train was not even containing the crowd we had. And um, within... Uh, a, a day or two, we were able to transport over 63,000 passengers and uh, everyone was happy. At the point in time, some couldn't even ride on the train because of the crowd that uh, we had. Okay, wow. well, let's come back home. Uh, mm -hmm. The red line. We are enjoying the blue line, even though it has not reached where we want it to reach or where it is projected that it's going to reach. I'm sure it's supposed to start from... Uh, um, even if it's starting from Marina, I should mm -hmm. get to as far as Badagri or so, and maybe continue from Marina to Aja Ekwe, or something. Even. Ekwe, you know. But we have, we thank God for small messes. Now we're hearing the red line is going to uh, start in February. Uh, would like to hear your comments on that first of all. Okay, f first of all, I want to appreciate Lagos State Government, and I want to tell Lagosians that. Uh, uh, Lagos State has been very lucky in the times of uh, choosing their leaders that are uh, normally leading the state. And uh, it's a project that was started long ago, and you can see that there was continuity. So uh, other governors didn't come to say it was not a project that was not initiated by me, and as a result of that, I will abandon it. But in Lagos State, it is totally different. So I want to uh, indulge other states to learn from Lagos State because uh, it's a project that is capital intensive in nature. It is um, a, a also a, a time consuming and uh, of course it's, it's a huge amount of money is involved. Uh, you know you have to build the rail lines, you have to, the, the, the lines, you have to build the stations, you have to bring so many things before you can have a train run in the corridors of uh, 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 the track or the location you wanted it to run. So the blue line, of course, here yeah, from mile two to marina is is working efficiently and effectively. Mm. Okay, mm. so we're talking about um, this blue line, or rather the red line, being flagged off by the end of the month. Um, well, if the president is no, available, no. yes. Sorry, are you with me? Yes, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, the red line is going to go to Oyimbo here, and um, it's going to run on railway corridors, unlike the blue line that is strictly owned by Lagos State Government. Okay. So the red line is stock, the rolling stocks. I, I know they have brought two rolling stocks uh, that are on ground right now, and they have test run it last week. And um, in all is in preparation to uh, start uh, running of the train as promised by the governor. And uh, so from Abado to Ebute Meta, where we have the Mobolaji Johnson station, uh, the track is owned by railway. Then from um, Ebute Meta here to Oyimbo was actually built by Lagos State Government. And uh, they have a very big station which they built uh, at Oyimbo 
where passengers will uh, uh, alight and uh, even embark on the train. So and the intention is to extend it to Ido, up to Marina. And then uh, at Ikeja, they want to have a spur into the uh, uh, international uh, airport, where you can equally ride train from Oyembo to international airport. And so those are their targets. And I'm assuring you that by the time these trains uh, start running, uh, traffic will be less in Lagos, and then uh, movement will be very, very easy for uh, uh, commuters of our train. Okay, so you said some are being, um, you know, built by Lagos state government and others aren't. Is this like a partnership between, the way you have state roads and federal roads, is this like a partnership between the Lagos state government and the federal government? You are very correct. It's partnership between uh, the federal government and Lagos state government. Okay, interesting. So now, since we talked about the fact that um, testings are already being done for the, the red line to be flagged off at the end of the month, how sure are we that this is safe for passengers um, to commute to their, you know, their work, their homes and all of that? So is this safe enough? Are, are, are adequate testings being done um, for this red line? I can assure you that uh, the safest means of transportation in the whole world is the rail line. And uh, the way our stations are built, they are well secured. And um, uh, you, you are aware that we have scanners all over, we have security, we have a railway command, a whole command of the police, which is headed by a commissioner of police, just like uh, every other state commissioner of police. We equally have a, a whole command of civil defense, uh, with the headquarters here in Lagos, where we have a commandant that is heading the command, just like every other state commandant of civil defense. And uh, we have other internal security that uh, uh, are not known to, to, to people. And so every security aspect and measures that is needed is put in place already, because it will interest you to know that on the central, we are already running Lagos to Ibadan train on a daily basis where we have never had any uh, situation uh, of security challenge or any situation that uh, was not being able to be managed by the security we have on ground. So I assure you that it is very safe for all Nigerians. Let me digress a little bit from Lagos, but it's still the same railway and trains. Uh, why, why does it seem like the security you're talking about, the train being the safest and all that, is not showing that much in the federal level mm -hmm. because we we remember not too long ago when a lot of people were kidnapped and when adopted. they were trying to move from one point to the other in the train uh, that was the federal government's train not lagos train so lagos is experiencing this what are they doing that the federal government is not doing or what went wrong if they are doing these things okay uh you know that time Actually, the, the security, the, it, uh, precisely it was Abuja Kaduna train yes. in, 20, in 2022, where there was a bomb attack and people were kidnapped and so many were killed. Of course, that was a huge blow on the railway management and also the union. And uh, in that regard, we all came together and then came up with a, a different strategy entirely uh, to check our track to check our security and uh, the, it was the security uh, uh, apparatus was actually re-strategized and that's why since then you have not heard of any attack on any of our facilities we equally have a train that is running between worry and itakbe we have a train that is in koji state worry in delta and then uh, it runs to itakbe on daily basis we also have a train running from lagos to ibadan on daily basis and then very soon we are introducing our train that will be running from Lagos to Kano also. That one is going to be run on the narrow gauge. But these other three trains I have mentioned are running on the standard gauge, which of course Lagos State Government also, their system of railway is built on a standard gauge. And so that is why uh, it was easy for them to come into partnership with railway. So for security, I assure you that uh, uh, it would be very, very difficult for us to still have the kind of challenge we had back then on the Abuja Kaduna train services. Yeah, I do hope that uh, this security is the way you're describing it because I've taken the train just for the fun of it. The ride was great anyway, but I didn't seem to see any security. And sometimes it helps to just see that uniform. Security just personnel. Somebody that you will know that if there's anything that is going haywire, that somebody, that somebody is going to at least call for help 
uh, if you cannot. Uh, but we don't. I don't see those people. Are they hidden? Are they? Do you guys have like emergency uh, you know? lines or you know yes. anything in place for? Obviously, we we don't we do not pray for incidents like this. But do you have yeah. any emergency? Um, our exits for these people or anything that can be done in case there is a situation like this that arises? Uh, well, um, we have our workers uh, moving right inside the train and they work in collaboration with the security and even the security that are on train, most of them are even on Mufti, you may not know their security okay. and uh, as a result of that, uh, if you have any emergency, our staff are easily identified by they are wearing, by them, wearing their uniform or reflective jackets. So if you have any emergency or any uh, um, need for assistance, you can quickly talk to any of our staff and they will lead you uh, to the right direction. And uh, for security, yes, their strategy are so many that, of course, we may not come on air to begin to blow it. But uh, I assure you that our trends are well secure. Okay, um, just finally... Um if you were to advise the government, especially the government of Lagos, on things yeah. that you think could be added, because there's always room for improvement, what are those things sure. that you think may be lacking, or even if they are not lacking, they could have been better than the way they are? What would you advise the governor if you were given that opportunity? Okay. I will advise the governor to kindly extend the services of this, I mean the rail lines to uh, locations where they are actually needed, like uh, from Oyungbo to Marina, Marina to Lekki, Lekki to Aja, if possible up to Ebe, because uh, uh, we have a lot of people coming into town from those directions on daily basis. And uh, I'm sure if that is done, it will reduce um, uh, traffic. Uh, traffic on the yeah. road. And so also, I will equally advise that they should uh, purchase more trains. They should acquire more trains because these two rake of trains they have, I am not sure uh, that is going to be enough uh, in terms of uh, containing the number of people that will be patronizing their facilities. Uh, because I'm saying it out of experience, because even in railway, we federal government actually needs to improve by bringing more trains and also bringing um, uh, trains that will run on the narrow gauge because you see the narrow gauge we have covers over 26 states in Nigeria and uh, covers about 5,455 kilometers, which of course we uh, the trains we have are obsolete and um, no new locomotive, no coaches, no wagons. If all these are put in place, I assure you that Nigerians will not need to travel by road at all. They will all prefer to move by train. And even uh, carrying uh, fuel and goods from Lagos to Portacot, Lagos to Metuguri, Lagos to whatever direction is not a good idea at all. So if uh, all these trains are put in place, I assure you that uh, uh, Nigerians will find it very, very easy to move from one direction to the other. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you so much, uh, comrade, for coming Thank on the you. program and enlightening us on what uh, we needed to know. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. We've been talking to a comrade in our center, Gigi. He is the national president, Nigerian Union of Railway Workers, and he was talking to us on the fact that uh, the government of Lagos has promised that the red line will be flagged up at the end of uh, February. Okay. Yeah, uh, I do hope that time gets to come very, very fast. Um, and much as I would like to say trains are good, sometimes even getting to where you will get the train to another location will take you almost the same, same amount of money yeah. that you're supposed to pay on the road or something. So mm. how will this be done such that so you, can, accessibility. Yes, you can get there easily and mm -hmm. move from one point to the other? So yeah. if I want to go to Abuja, for instance, I need to go to Ibadan. But if I'm going to Ibadan, where do I need to get a train to go to Ibadan? Maybe I'll have to go to a Butemeta. Yes. And I live maybe somewhere like uh, Ojodu Vega. And I'll have to go to a Butemeta. Meanwhile, it might be closer for you to even go to At the end of the Ibadan. day, the, the price I'm going to pay from a Butemeta on a train ride to Ibadan is like double of what I'm going to pay from um, Ojodu Vega to Ibadan. So mm -hmm. 
things like this should be considered so that when we see that okay there is safety there there's a stop here i think mm -hmm. we need different like for instance you know in other countries there are like different stops you mm -hmm. know that okay you know what this is birmingham this is Coventry, this is Wolverhampton, you know, different stops mm -hmm. like that. So you don't have to travel all the way to Ibuti Meta. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You can just take it from your stop and it goes there. Or, sure. or there should be buses like BRT buses that will be dedicated to from one straight, yes, yeah. to one of the stops that we need to go to. Mm -hmm. Because if I if I have to well, pay so much we're to developing, go. so I'm yeah. sure I'm sure I'm sure we'll get there. Well, today uh, is a very, very uh, important day as well. Mm -hmm. It's not only for the internet that we're, we've been talking about all this time. We also are celebrating or using today. Today, 6th of February is always used for awareness on female uh, genital mutilation. mutilation. It's something that we all need to be talking about all the time. Mm -hmm. And in Africa, it's a culture. And that culture, sometimes when we don't do what the culture tells us, it's as if uh, we, are, we are dead or something. <laughs> uh, but we're not dead. There are some things from our culture or in our culture that needs to change. Uh, it needs to be abolished, not yeah. even changed. Yes. Such a, as for instance, at some point in Cross River State, in Calabar, uh, precisely, twins were killed. Mm. They, they were a bad, point, yeah. a bad omen or something or something. But now we know that twins are awesome if you mm -hmm. have twins you you are just lucky mm -hmm. to have the twins and they are not what we used to think of them so there are some things in our culture that might be very very bad and we need to stop that yeah. okay female mut uh, genital, genital mutilation. mutilation yeah is celebrated today or oh, the awareness is today so mm -hmm. now there are things that were listed as Maybe you should be talking about this, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> I said these are some of the disadvantages if you have uh, female uh, genital mutilation. There will be severe pain, which is true, mm -hmm. excessive bleeding or hemorrhage, genital tissue swelling that can even lead to death. Yes, fever, infections like tetanus, urinary problems, wound healing problems, injury to surrounding genital tissues. They didn't add that sometimes it affects you at childbirth. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And then, another one that they didn't add here is... Um, and sexual, which is very, sexual libido? Yes. When, 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 when you are having your... Um, uh, your libido. Conju let's conjugal... Let's let's when you are, you are having... <laughs> conjugal visa. <laughs> <laughs> you, you won't enjoy it. You, yeah. won't, you won't have the same feeling as when you are natural, the mm -hmm. way you were created by mm -hmm. God to do. It's all right for the men. But for the women, it's not so. It's very risky in most cases. Yeah. Some people die out of this and all that. So what's it? It's only a myth thinking that it's when you do this uh, mutilation that a woman respects herself. Mm. Whoever is going to be crazy will be crazy True. with or without it. True. So let's create awareness when we go back to our villages, when we're talking to our family members, when we're talking to our friends, that this has to stop. That's female right. genital mutilation. Yeah, it has to be abolished. I mean, a lot of people will come and say, oh, yes, um, if a woman will be promiscuous if, mm. you know, you don't do that. But at the end of the day, you don't even want them to die because there are times it leads to death, like I said. Um, she's about to give birth. Sometimes you don't even know what's... You don't even understand your body anymore because things that were supposed to be there have been cut out. Yeah. So please, let's, it's something that needs to be abolished and we do not support it at all. And you shouldn't either. So if you've ever thought about it, doing that to your kids, your female um, kids, please, it's not a good idea. Make sure that they are okay, they are safe. You sh it's your duty to keep every woman around you safe. And so, you know, female genital mutilation is not a way to keep them safe. Instead, mm. it's a way to, um, you know, just make them feel like they are not women anymore. Oh, well, uh, on that note, we'll have to draw the curtain on today's uh, um, show. We'd like to thank you for being a part of this show, and we hope that you'll return tomorrow for another edition. Until then, remember, my name is Nyamgul Agaji. My name is Rome Paulson. Thank you, and have a good day.